Hello everyone, Desperado here. This is the start of my camera path tutorial. I'm going to go into detail how they work with camera paths in the Star Trek Online. Now, I'm going to assume you already know how to record a demo file and how to start the playback of it. So this is going to focus on the camera path. If you don't know how to record demo files and start their playback, there is a link in the description to a tutorial that will show you how to do that. I let it jump straight into it, so without further ado, let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to want to do with any demo file is once you first start playing it, watch it all the way through. This allows you to write down points of action, where you want the camera to be at a certain point, and at what time certain things happen. It also gets rid of an error. You watch it all the way through to an error message pops up, and then you can restart it, play it all the way through again, you'll never see that message again. Uh, first, I think we should get through the basics of the demo recorder playback thing. First of all, you are going to start with your camera focusing on the whoever's recording the demo file, in which case it was my character who is beaming in in the chair on the left, the first officer's chair of the runabout. To detach the camera, you would push F2. You may have to push it once or twice but this will detach the camera and allow you to move the camera around freely. Your movement keys are A, S, W, and D. They function similar to how they do in the game. But you need to imagine it as if you're flying a ship around. A will strafe to the left, D strafes to the right. S moves back, W moves forward. Click and hold the right mouse button to look around. Q will strafe up. You will climb if you push and hold Q. Actually, no, I got that wrong. You will climb if you push and hold spacebar. And descend if you push and hold the Z key. Our get you a little familiar with a bit of video making terminology. There are these things called handles in video recording. All they are is an extra five seconds at the beginning and end of the video before the video's action actually starts happening. You want to do this when you are recording with your recorder, whether it be fraps or whatever you use, and you also want to do this when you are starting the demo file. So when you hit enter after typing in the command in game to record a demo file, you want to do it five seconds before the action actually starts. Now that that's out the way, uh, let's get the camera path tutorial started. This is the camera path editor. Uh, notice these blue and red lines popped up when I did that, as well as the editing system and timeline itself. Let's do the basics for this first. This is a camera point where this little camera icon is. This blue line is the camera path. See this line here extending out from the camera lens? That is the center frame, the center point of the frame where the camera is pointing. See this red line with the dots on it? This is the look at path. This is where the camera will be looking when it moves. So these points are where the center point of a particular camera position is aimed at that point. This circle around the camera allows me to move it. I'll get into that later. This circle allows you to move it and you can push the Q key to change the type of movement you're going to do. Be it uh, translate or rotate. We'll get into that later. Preview on this tab, I opened it up, this is preview, this is hide paths, this one, and that just hides the path. Detach camera, I don't know what that does, I have no idea. But you'll never really need to use this, in fact I recommend staying away from it. Path list, this shows the paths in your uh, camera path editor, in your uh, demo file. I have only one path in this uh, particular demo file right now. 
in this uh, one path, easy path, you this is where you can uh, add a path, uh, save modification to a path, delete a path. You can also change your edit type for the cameras here. Edit type would be camera, which is what you see right now. Edit type would be camera path. This allows you to actually change the point of the camera. And look at path allows you to change the point on a lookout and a look point. I recommend just using camera. All three of them do the same thing. All they do is allow you to move the camera and the look point to your uh, to your preference. Camera mode allows you to, or edit mode allows you to change what kind of editing you're doing to a particular point. You got translate and rotate, and you can change these with Q. You can change them with the Q key too. See, I'm pushing the Q key, and it changes it. Now let's start with translate. Translate's pretty easy. You can see three axes. The three axes of a 3D environment come up after you hit that. Uh, you can pick the axis, click and hold the line and move it. There's your climb and descend. Left, right, and forward, back. Rotate's the other one. Rotate allows you to change the camera. I can have it pitch up or pitch down. Yaw it to the left, yaw it to the right. Blend them out, I don't know what that does. It always defaults to 0.75, but I'm not really sure what it does. Total time and total move time come in more after you've uh, finished creating the path itself. All it is is total time is the number of seconds it takes for the path to get from point one to point two. Total move time is how many of those seconds are spent moving. So for this camera path, I have a total of one minute, 60 seconds, to get from point one to point two. 35 of those, roughly half, is that is spent moving. You can reset the speeds but this is going to throw off my camera path so I'm not going to do it. Point list uh, shows the different points. You can see I have nine points in this one camera path. It also lists the point name which is point zero, one, two, three, four, five, and the time at which the camera is going to reach that point in the playback is 10, 15, 17, and how many seconds it's going to spend holding. Smooth look at path allows you to smooth the camera. If this is unchecked, then the camera is going to be real poppy. Look at positions. Now there's two graphs here. There's two charts. We have camera position and look at position. You'll see they'll match up for the most part. Path time and path move time are the same thing as they were up here, total time and total move time. They're the same thing. Basic path is what you click to add or delete a point. Pretty self-explanatory. Selected point tells you information about the particular camera point you have selected. I'm going to select point two real quick. This is point two right here. The position which uh, you never need to mess with because you're pretty much always going to be making a movie and putting the camera relative to something in that movie. Time is the time in the playback in seconds that you want the camera to arrive at that point. And this is probably the thing that kicks everyone's ass when they first started doing camera paths. Time, I want it to hit camera point two at 10 seconds into the playback. So at 10 seconds on here, the camera position is going to be here. Now if I want it to hold at that point, I can put a hold in. I'm going to put like a, say a three second hold in there. And we have a three second hold. Ease in and ease out 
uh, just two camera effects you can have where the camera will slowly zoom in or slowly zoom out and during that three second hold. I'm going to put a zoom out effect in. These three buttons here allow you to reset the point, clone the point, or move to the point. Move to the point puts you looking directly through the camera lens. Reset point will reset the point to the way it was before you made changes. And clone the point, I am assuming, makes a copy, but I have never used clone point before. This timeline down here uh, shows you, it's just a timeline of your camera, your uh, demo file. Again, blue line, camera position, and red line, look at position. And it shows you where at in the time that the camera point is. A quick word of advice when you're editing a point. The camera path thinks in seconds. Although the time timer up here is in minutes and seconds, all your times are going to have to be entered in seconds. So if I want to reach point 5 at 1 minute 30 seconds, I have to put 90 seconds in there. It helps to have a calculator on hand when you're doing a bigger camera, a bigger movie. That's the basics of Camera Path Editor. The next tutorial will be how to actually edit a camera path. Uh, we'll start with Easy Path and Normal Path and work our way up from there.